It's disappointing. Uh, President Obama during the campaign said that this uh, that uh, this process was a failure. I think by any measure it has been a failure. And um, I think what is particularly disappointing is the fact that uh, the government is now openly stating the reason that it is reviving this uh, commission's process is because uh, it is going to be hard to obtain convictions in traditional courts. And this will be the first time in, uh, in our republic that we have uh, created a court system to obtain convictions. And, and, and uh, th that's more than disappointing. If you were in charge and you were going to recommend an alternative, what would it look like? It would be either uh, courts martial for those uh, individuals that have committed actual uh, war crimes or, uh, under the laws of war, or in federal court. Uh, our founding fathers created uh, a system of justice that has endured for uh, for over 200 years, and there's nothing unique about this threat that requires uh, fake courts uh, applying laws that, uh, that that did not exist uh, at the time that these offenses allegedly took place. Okay. How do you anticipate the process is going to go forward? Well, being on the defense side, we're not given much information about what is uh, what is happening. Uh, we're we're learning uh, about the future in the same way that the American public is learning through the newspapers, and we're told that a, another continuance is likely, and then some form of this commission's process uh, continuing forward. Okay. Um, would it help uh, in your mind if the process doesn't continue here at Guantanamo? Is, it, is that mitigating at all? It it, it it doesn't make uh, any difference. Uh, substandard justice is substandard justice, whether it happens here at Guantanamo or it happens in Kansas or South Carolina. Uh, we have American courts that have successfully prosecuted uh, terrorists uh, and can, can do so in the future.